as you guys may have seen in a previous video, I went ahead and customized this right here. It used to say the name of the machine under there. And now we're gonna be making something for this section right here. Today's video is being brought to you by neverdenyme.com. Make sure you take a look at the website for all your graphic needs, anything from digital to physical. So what I did is I got my roller, did some measurements, got a piece of paper, lined it up from the gray on this side all the way to the gray over there. This ends up covering it up perfectly. Then what I did from there was I took this piece of paper, I measured it out and I designed something off of those specific sizings. So then I went ahead and made this right here. This is just gonna be one of the, what, two or three projects that we're doing for me today, but I'm definitely not gonna fill in this entire hoop. So I'm gonna leave a little bit on the right side here to do some customer designs. I just have to wait for them to uh, email me back about you know if their design is okay, if they approve of it before I get to stitching it out. So with that being said, let's get today's project started. I'm gonna put that satin border on there right now. The quality of the stitching, very good. I'm gonna have to do some cleanup on the border there. But as far as the yellow that it's doing right now, superb, baby, superb. I ain't gotta sit here and change the colors one by one. Uh, the, to the person who left that comment on my announcement video about this machine, man, you are definitely right. Um, I've noticed that already. The fact that I no longer have to sit here, and even though I'm going to sit here anyway because I want to watch it stitch out, the fact that I can walk away if I want to is just amazing. It's just like, wow. Like, I don't have to sit here and change colors one by one anymore. I can actually watch TV or eat or check emails or do something else while these orders are going. But again, at this point, I'm still fascinated. I want to sit here anyway and watch it. If you guys like what you see so far, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, drop a comment, and stay tuned. Matter of fact, let me know what you guys want to see next. Look at it. I almost forgot too, when I said it's going to be the exact same as this, um, it's going to be a little different outside of the shape. And you guys can see it's a different shape. We're gonna be putting the website, you know, www.onthisside.com on the other side over there. And I believe the way I set it up is gonna start with the .com and then it's gonna jump over here and do the www uh, as the very last step since the needle is already over there. We might as well keep the stitch going over there instead of having the machine jump around too much. exactly how I wanted it to come out. Now, last step is we just need to verify. And matter of fact, we probably won't even get to know. So we got this, let's see. Yeah, okay, so this came out exactly how I needed it to come out. The quality of the stitching, A1, very legible. Came out very quick, uh, as you guys seen on the machine uh, a moment ago, I said it was gonna take like 28 minutes but it only ended up taking 12 minutes and that's with the cutting and all that type of stuff like that. The next design I'm gonna to have to do is a completely different design. However, it is going to be a 3D puff. So I do have some of my foam sitting right here and I think I got enough battery to go ahead and make this next design for the same exact video or should I make it a whole new video? I don't know, we'll see. If the, if the video just goes off, that means stay tuned. 